Kamikaze PM. Liz Truss got beaten by a lettuce. The ice pillar kipper. Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson. He's just been weighed and measured. <laughs> by a great crested newt. Oh, really? Yes, really. He's scuppered his plans, that has, for his exercise plan. Now we've all been watching Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson with joy. Yet yeah, his moves are running around the block, well usually about ten yards, after he's out of the car and back into his house. Yeah, anyway, he does like to show off like that, for ten yards. But also he enjoys the swim. But unfortunately, for Alexander Boris de Feffel Johnson, yeah, it happens to be in the Guardian. Tofo eating woke around, yeah I am, yeah. Newts! Yes, newts. Not any old newts. No. Threaten Boris Johnson. They threatened him. Oh my giddy aunt. So Boris Johnson may finally be out of political water. Mm. He's been locked up. But plans to erect an outdoor paddling pool. Mm -hmm. At his Oxfordshire home. I wonder who paid for that. <laughs> Russian money, anyone? Maybe. Well, it's been disrupted by a population of great crested newts. Not any old newts, no. Great crested newts. <laughs> I've got a newfound love for great crested newts. I quite like toads, although he is a bit of a toad. But there you go. So since leave, leaving politics, the former Prime Minister has been keen to press ahead with improvements to his new home Yeah, that he purchased just in May for eight million quid or whatever it was. Suffered a crazy amount of money. And uh, has been living... Yeah, he said he's broke, didn't he? He said he got no money. Yeah. We paid his flipping legal costs. Yeah, he managed to, you know, to scrape the old uh, farthings out from behind his sofa and all that to buy this mansion. I wonder how he managed to do that. Oh, I wonder. Well, so it's for him, his wife, and Carrie, you know, Princess Nut Nuts, and their three little... Sprogs. Yeah. Spawn of the devil, you could say. Blame me. So, however, it seems that the great crested newt, <laughs> against which, well, I don't remember, Alexander Boris of Ethical Charles, he r rallied against it, you see, because there's so many developments that have been scuppered because of the great crested newt. And I can remember one in particular where I used to live in Fort St. Andrew. Yeah, eventually it went through and it all happened. But there was an old pit there was, yeah. Where they dug, done all the diggings to build all the houses on Charles Avenue. Yeah. Anyway, the guy who owned it, uh, Mr. Street, Andy Street, he decided that he's good, he's dead now, but yeah, he, he decided he was going to just sell it for development. And the very housing was going to be building some uh, bungalows on there as well, shelter houses on there. And uh, the, we all got out there, you see, it's the back of our house, literally the back of our house. And we found the great crested, great crested loops there, you see, or claims that there was. Anyway, it went through eventually anyway, but uh, it did delay things considerably. Because it all had to be investigated, you see. Had to get the right people in. <laughs> anyway, so it's the UK's largest newt, is the old great crested newt, which takes its name from the striking jagged crest that males display in the oh, spring breeding season. Oh, saucy. Yeah, saucy newt. Yeah, and it's a, prote it's a protected species under British law, you see. Now, when I was working for Wil uh, Wilcon Homes or what have you, we did some development out, uh, I think it was uh, one we did there, out of Borough. And when that site went in, we had to make, we had to provide uh, a way for the newts and the frogs and other amphibians to get through. Under the road, we had to put tubes in. They put tubes in the road to make, yeah, little routes for the, yeah, for the animals to get through. I was the one that got planning, build regulation approval. Or whatever, the plan approval. <laughs> oh, things we have to do. Jump through hoops, you could say. But so, you know, they were there before us, to be fair. Well, now, the fines, if you don't actually abide by the rules and the laws, or these are a protected species, are unlimited. Depends on the damage, you see, that you've caused. So they, you can get a massive, massive, massive fines. So Johnson launched an application with the South Oxfordshire um, District Council in June for the construction of an outdoor pool. He wanted a flipping swimming pool. 
Yeah, now that he's got an eight million quid house, but this is more like a paddling pool. If you make it in comparison to old Richie Sunak's uh, Olympic size swimming pool, this thing is tiny. Yeah, it's 11 metres by four metres. That's not a very big swimming pool. That's a paddling pool. That's what that is. Yeah. Sorry, Alexander Boris de Peffel, de Peffel Johnson. So, a local government ecologist who reviewed the application did not recommend granting permission for the pool to be built because there are great crested newts living in the grounds of his property. He's going to be out there. It's going to be like Caddyshack. <laughs> He's going to be out there trying to hunt down the great crested newts, get rid of them all. That's what he'll do. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to use dynamite. <laughs> oh, so apparently there's a pond on the property, you see, as well as a moat adjacent to the uh, southern boundary. Given that the ex existence of the great crested newts in the village, Brightwell uh, come Sotwell and pool and the pool falls within the red zone of the highest risk of the GCN great crested newts, says the church's uh, report. Ha ha! <laughs> no swimming pool for Alexander Boris the Feville Johnson. Oh my giddy -ah. Just think of all those aeroplanes flying over. I think there's a blessing in disguise, this one. Who wants to see that? Oh, blubber. Blubber was floating about. No! It's like a floating moob. That's what he's a floating moob. Oh, I can't stand that man. The damage that he's caused with his gob. Just like Farage. People believe what they say, you see. Well, there you go. Anyway, at least he got beat, taken down by a newt. Yeah, tiny little thing. Yeah, great critter newt. <laughs> anyway, you tell me. Please leave it in the comments down below. Does that give you a warm, fuzzy feeling inside? It does me. <laughs> if you want to support the channel, you can do it on Patreon and buy us a coffee, and the links are down below. That they are. Well, it's time for me to go because I need to get myself sorted out and pick the kids up, you see. Yeah, the grandchildren are up. They're around my sons, that they are. Causing mayhem, probably. I will be a bit surprised. Yeah. Anyway. If you want to support the channel, do it. Patreon buys coffee, or there's um, memberships. I forgot. That's what I thought about. I forgot. It was membership. We've got memberships as well. We're part of the Wally Crew. And also, we are planting trees here in France. Yeah. For all the great crested dudes. <laughs> we have got a lot of toads. Yeah. Lot big toads. Big, fat toads. In fact, I had to move one earlier. I was in my greenhouse and I was weeding and I don't hurt, don't hurt him. Yeah, big fat thing. It was that. It was massive. He was going. God, they're sluggish old things though, aren't they? Sluggish. Anyway, there's a GoFundMe link down below. If you want to buy a tree for our rewilding project here in France, we're planting thousands of trees, two hectares of land, and uh, we'll put your name with the tree that you, well, you donate. Yeah. Or it could be a memory of a loved one. It's quite a nice idea, really, isn't it? I think so. Anyway, you tell me. Leave in the comments down below. Ta-ta.